Hi, welcome to a new Hello Germany video. My name is Jana and in this video I'm going to explain to you how you can ask for a salary increase if you already have a permanent job in Germany and feel that it's time for an increase. I'm also going to explain to you how to pick the right point of time to address this topic, what to say in the discussion with your boss or supervisor and also what not to say. And I'm also going to give you a bit of an overview of what's common in Germany, how frequent salary increases happen, um, what percentage of salary increase you can expect and what else you can, should keep in mind in terms of salary negotiation strategy. All right, so first of all, let's talk about how to choose the right point of time for this topic. And I'm specifically talking about this because there can also be wrong points of time and I'm sure that this will influence the outcome of your salary negotiation. Um, so let's start with situations where it's not a good point of time to ask for a salary increase. So if you just signed a new job offer and maybe you just started a new job and you realize that you asked for a salary that's way too low, it's not a good idea to ask for a salary increase right away. It's better to choose a good strategic point of time after delivering some value for the company because if you ask for a change before even yeah, really starting on the job, um, I would say that this kind of leaves a bad impression because usually when you negotiate salary in the beginning, um, then this is also something the company will ask you about. So if you change your mind on this, it looks as if you didn't really prepare well or if you, as if you did not do your research properly. Also, if the company is currently experiencing any financial issues, it may not be a good point of time to ask for a salary increase. Um, for instance, right now here in Germany, we get a lot of bad news about layoffs from different companies. So if this is the case in your company, and you see a lot of colleagues going at the moment, then probably it's also not a good point of time um, to discuss this topic. So let's take a look at the situations where it's a good point of time to ask for a salary increase. First of all, um, if you just passed your probationary period, um, then maybe you will have a feedback session with your current boss. And this is usually a good point of time to ask for your salary increase but only if you agreed on a salary increase or a performance bonus or something else when you signed your job offer. If you've seen any of my other videos, uh, you may remember that when I talked about salary negotiation, I also often recommended um, to ask for a salary increase after the probationary period and to agree on this right away when you negotiate your job offer. So if you have done this, then of course, the end of the six month period is a very good point of time to ask for your increase. Also, um, I would say a natural point of time to ask for an increase is after the first year of employment. Um, that's just a natural point of time where you will usually have um, a feedback session with your boss or um, supervisor and where you will discuss your performance and maybe define goals for the next year and so on. So this is definitely a good point of time to ask for an increase, but you need to have um, good reasons for this in place. And that's something I'm going to talk about later. It's not sufficient to just say, you know, now my first year of working for this company is over. Can you give me a salary increase? Um, I think there needs to be a bit more. Which brings me to uh, another point of time, um, which is a good point of time from a strategic point of view. And that's if you are working on a very important project and you are about to finish this project or you already successfully finished it, then you have a very good reason to ask for a salary increase, right? The same is the case if you are taking over more responsibility, for instance, if you are becoming a mentor for other team members, if you are taking over a small team or if you're taking over tasks from a colleague which come with more responsibility, then that's also a very good point of time to uh, discuss this topic. Here, um, I can recommend you to not wait until the end of the project or also not wait to until the point of time when you've already taken over the whole new responsibility, but choose your point of time when you discuss this topic carefully. Um, it can be smart to ask for the increase before you're going to finish the project, like shortly before the peak. Um, or also shortly before you take over the responsibility or when you are still discussing it, because 
that's a situation where your boss will also think about how to motivate you and how to give you an incentive for this. If you have a good boss, then this person will of course be happy to give you an increase if it's possible, but some people have a different approach, right? So uh, you are in a better negotiation position if they still need you, if they need to motivate you, and if they need to give you incentives because you are probably in a situation where the pressure is very high and where um, sticking to your deliverables and your performance level is very important for them. Uh, so choose this point of time carefully. Other good points of time would be um, if you have been working on a limited contract and if you are changing to a permanent one, then that's also, of course, always a good point of time to bring up this topic. And if you've been working for a company for several years already, then your performance review meetings are always a good point of time to discuss salary. I think um, that's a natural point of time to bring up this topic. And it can also often be tied to new goals. So for instance, um, if you are discussing a potential new role um, with your boss in your performance review, um, or um, yeah, the strength they see in you, um, your good performance in the last year or in the last two years, or in yeah, different projects, then that's always a good point of time to ask for a salary increase. Which brings me to the second point that I wanted to talk about, and that's how to ask for a salary increase. So I would say here in Germany, uh, the most important thing is that you always have this approach on your mind that to talk about performance and not so much about seniority. I mean, there are a lot of companies which also value um, the yeah, amount of time you've been working for them and so on, especially if you work in a big company, you will definitely have salary increases over time, um, the longer you work for them. Um, but if you are asking for a salary increase, which is not a regular one that's yeah, given to all persons in the company after a certain time frame or after um, tariff renegotiation, then you need to have good reasons to ask for a salary increase. And that's also what I mentioned earlier. Good reasons to ask for a salary increase are, of course, um, uh, an upgrade in your qualifications. So for instance, if you finished a degree in the meantime, or if you moved into a new professional field, if you learned a new skill in the meantime, or also if you took over um, new responsibilities like handling team members, um, handling more customer accounts, um, having more responsibility on a technical level, training new colleagues. All of this is um, a new thing. It's an upgrade of your qualifications and it's also an upgrade of your responsibility level. And that's a very good reason to ask for a salary increase. That's why I mentioned earlier that very often if you are running a very important project for a company, this is a very good point of time to talk about this because usually that's a point of time where you will have more visibility than usual, right? And I know if you are, um, you know, currently working in a situation where the pressure is very high, then probably you're not thinking that much about salary increases and strategy and so on because you're probably very, yeah, exhausted from work or you're just thinking about the end of the project <laughs> and then thinking about how you can ask for a salary increase or maybe some new opportunities once you have delivered this project and proven to everyone that you are really good at the stuff you're doing. But as I said earlier, from a psychological point of view and um, uh, when you think about incentives and um, about how your um, supervisor might approach this topic, then it can make sense to ask for this a bit earlier. If you are working in a role that doesn't have a very high level of visibility and it's not a team lead role, for instance, but maybe more of a technical role, um, then no worries. I think there are also good reasons to ask for a salary increase. So in this case, I would highlight um, the value you have brought to the team. It can also be on a technical level, the projects you have worked on, the motivation you have shown over the last year, highlight um, what exactly you have participated in in the, in the last year and why you think that this should be valued a bit more. This also brings me to the things that I think you should not say when you ask for a salary increase. And I already mentioned one of them. So first of all, um, just saying, you know, I've been working here for a year is not sufficient. I wouldn't say that it's common to always get a salary increase after a year. 
it's good if the comp company does give salary increases on a frequent level, but it's not naturally the case here in Germany and in every company. Um, in addition, um, it's also not sufficient to just say, you know, my personal costs have increased. Maybe I have a family now or inflation is so high at the moment. Um, that's also not sufficient because I know that a lot of people are struggling with that, but in the end, it's about your performance and the value you bring to the company. And that's a much higher incentive for your boss or supervisor to give you a salary increase. Now let's talk about how much additional salary you can ask for. This depends a bit on your situation. Uh, so you can see here that all this comes with a bit of strategy. If you are working in a technical position and if you're mainly asking for a salary increase um, because you feel that you've been working for the company since a very long time and your market value has increased in general and it's about time to ask for a salary increase, then I would say the usual level is about three to five percent increase um, if there was no change of your responsibilities. Um, so when I talk about three to five percent, I talk about gross salary. So um, you always negotiate gross salary in Germany because the net salary depends on your personal um, living situation. And that's why you always negotiate gross salary. So if there was no change of responsibilities, I would say the usual level is three to five percent of increase. If you have taken over more responsibilities, it can be more than that. And specifically, if you have been promoted to a new position, um, for instance, if you were a team lead earlier and now you, you are heading a new department, then the salary increase can be much higher. This is specifically the case if you've been promoted to a position with a new title and a much bigger team, then I would definitely ask for quite a high increase. It can be 15% or even more. That depends a bit on the company policy. But also if you did not change your title or if you did not grow your team or if you don't even have a team, but you took on new projects that come with a lot more responsibility, this is also a good reason to ask for a significant salary increase because it also increases the pressure you have and the value you bring to the company. If it turns out that your employer is not able to give you a salary increase, which could specifically be the case right now, um, where inflation is very high and costs are increasing, um, then you can also ask for other things. So for this, I would recommend you um, one of my videos. I'm going to link it for you up here where I talk about things you can negotiate besides salary. So there are a lot of options like vacation days, for instance, or performance-based um, variable salary. Um, so you still have options in that case. And that's why I think it's worth it to definitely bring up this topic, even if you feel that there's not much room for negotiating your current gross salary. That was it. Let me know in the comments if you have ever asked for a salary increase and also what your experiences were. I would also be super curious to hear if you have observed any differences between Germany and working in other countries when it comes to salary negotiation and also salary increases and promotions in general, because I think there are quite a few differences. If you like this video, then hit the subscribe button right now and turn on the notifications. I wish you all the best for your salary negotiation and I hope it works out for you. See you soon.